about things that we did not talk about before now. So, uh, sorry, my mic's breaking up here. So, uh, what what was what is wrong with with the pipeline, in your opinion? Well, the pipeline. Yeah. Well, let's, the Keystone pipeline. The, the Keystone pipeline has particular problems. But in, uh, the aging and uh, unmaintained infrastructure of pipelines in this nation is crumbling. The Keystone pipeline. Uh, even though it's relatively new, is also rupturing because of the corrosive, acidic, and erosive nature of the tar sands feedstocks. So why would they use this tar sand stuff if they know it was just going to rupture the pipes? It's easy to extract, it's cheap to extract, and you get very, very little uh, fuel from that and product that you can sell. And it's being sold overseas, so it's all about money. Okay, uh, how do the, the Koch brothers kind of, how do they all tie into, into this? Well, if you'll go online, you'll find that these processes, uh, the coking units, the uh, alkylation, cat cracking uh, processes were developed uh, and are being developed by uh, Koch Industries. It does what it does, but it's extracting extremely dirty oil to put in uh, and uses a lot of energy and a lot of water is contaminated. It reminds me years ago of the coal slurry pipeline that was proposed and tried to push through, and it did not. This is the same kind of thing, only a little bit different twist on, 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 on the topic. Why do you think they would uh, approve such a pipeline if it's obviously going to, to rupture? Well, evidently, uh, a lot of legislators have been convinced, i.e. purchased, by the uh, uh, people who think that they are above democracy and are above protecting this planet for their own personal sake. And it's our elected leaders, especially in this state and some other states, that you need to identify to uh, uh, who is really your enemy uh, in this fight. The Cree people of the Alberta tar sands region, their traditional lands, uh, are being horribly encroached upon. And we are indeed helping follow in their footsteps. My mind just went blank. Oh, I'll just have a guess. Do you have anything to say that I haven't covered so far? Or? Just that, uh, start educating yourselves about what the properties are of tar sands oil. It, when it ruptures, the uh, fraction, the naphtha, and the fraction of uh, condensate from natural gas does float to the top and it can it can be skimmed presumably but the tar sands bitumen itself sinks that means when it goes over wetlands waterways uh, the uh, the nebraska the platte river area this is what bothers the geologists it sinks and it will sink down into the sands and the wet areas it can't be mitigated so you'll it'll pretty much ruin drinking water or in the, in the, whenever the pipe? Yeah, it, it's, a, it's an unmitigated uh, release that cannot be recovered, and it will go into water tables and uh, flow as a plume uh, uh, underneath the surface. All right, and that's all I got. Thank you very Appreciate much. It. Yeah, thank you.